In this video, I'm going to talk about this microphone isolation shield. I'm going to talk about how easy it is to fit to a normal microphone, and then I'm going to show you the comparison in audio. So if that's what you're looking for, you're in the right place, so stick around. Before we start, just a quick word from my sponsor today, and that is Watermark App. If you want to add any watermarks or logos to your images or to your videos, then you can do so with this app. As you can see on the screen, it comes with demonstrations and it comes with lots of different logos and different variations, and you can change them and do whatever you want to change the sizes and change what they look like and put them wherever you want on the video. And then when you get them onto the screen, you can change it again, you can rotate it, or you can move it, you can make it bigger and lot or smaller. And again, put it wherever you like. And then directly upload your image or video straight to your social media from this app. You can download this app from your app store, wherever you download your apps from. And there is a free version, but if you wanted the full pro version, let me know in the comments down below. I have a limited amount of free codes for annual subscription. If you're too late for that, check out the description down below for the link to the app store. This recording is using just the microphone itself. It's the Ahura condenser USB microphone. It comes with an arm that I clamp it onto my table next to it. It's a USB, like I just said, and it's quite a good microphone. I really like it. You can squeeze this in and you can turn it around so you so it's facing the right way. It comes with a pop filter, but I won't, I won't put that on now. It's not, I'm not showing the microphone. I'm just showing the fact that you can use it on this type of microphone. This is the kind of microphone that you want to use. So this is the recording using just the microphone. The next recording that you're going to see and hear is with the isolation shield. So this is the recording using the isolation shield, as you can see. I'm using a normal microphone, the one I was using just now, which is plugged into the USB. Unfortunately, the stand that I use isn't made for an extra weight on top of it. So I might be able to demonstrate. It just, whoops. <laughs> so it just falls and I can't get it to stay in the right position on its own. So I rested it on the desk. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna recommend this particular isolation shield for this microphone stand. If there was a smaller one and a lighter one, that probably would work better. But in this instance, it's not good for me. So I think I might take it off and continue using it without it. So hopefully that's shown you what the what the isolation shield can do. Um, it is a good isolation shield, it's really good and it's really big and really large and the isolation foam is really great and it'd be good in a room where you don't have a very good isolation and good sound effects. So it is a good one and it might be okay if you just rest it on the table itself. But for me, it's not good for me, unfortunately. So if you wanna buy one, then I would advise seeking a stand that will that you know that's going to take an extra weight this one isn't it though unfortunately okay so that's it that's been my little story on this microphone isolation shield i hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have done so then please like the video and then if you haven't done so already subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future content okay that's it from me i've been lee's tech room see you later bye